This is my sweet girl, Nova. She's a black and tan coon hound. I think she might be mixed with the blood hound. She's a good girl. These are morning cuddles, huh? That's well, like 10. But... Hi, Nova. Hers is five. She just turned five years old. Hers got sad eyes. The hound dog life, sad eyes. They're super fun. Hers has big ears. Oh, my mommy plays with your big ears. She's so sweet. This girl, what can I say about Nova? Um, yeah, she loves her cuddles. This is definitely a normal position. Um, so she likes to cuddle in. She sees me laying here, usually with my knees off to one side. And she comes and she stares at me. And I, okay, I lay down flat and open my legs. And she crawls right between them and comes and lays with me. And if you stop petting her, she's got, yep, she's got, out. she's going to ask for more. <laughs> her elbows are digging right into my groin. Okay, oh. <laughs> that was her fault, not mine. Oh, what a lady. Where's cross her paws? Man, the personality doesn't stop with these dogs. It doesn't stop. They're so... Okay. All right. Making me look like I'm chubby. Come on. Yeah. They just like all the love. They love their ears played with. Their ears are the softest ears you'll ever pet. She is velvet. She looks shiny because she is. And she's got that cute little knob on her head. That's the typical hound dog knob. There's her knob. Her little knob. I love these dogs. So she's about 100 pounds. Um, the vet thinks she should be closer to 70. Yeah, she's a little chubby. She likes to counter surf. Um, that's our snack cabinet. I try to keep all snacks in there, but, you know, she gets things off the counter. So <sighs> typical household. Not everyone's always on agreement. Oh, hi, Nola. Horse has good teeth. Oh, tongue, long tongue. Always stuck in your mouth. She's had the gray mug since she was, like, one. So that's, like, she's just always had that. She's not any more gray than she would have been, you know. Um, and she's really cool. Her coloring is really neat. We like the little almonds. She loves her almonds whooped. She loves them. Little almond whoop. Little almond whoop. And then her brother um, is a, like, purebred black and tan coon hound. And he's your more typical coon hound. Hi, Ruglet. If I call him over, he's going to attack her and I don't get my cuddle time. So, <laughs> he could just lay over there by his lonesome. Yeah, he's good. He is going to turn three next month. So, his birthday's on Thanksgiving this year. Which is kind of fun. Oh, Sorry, I stick my gut out because it helps relieve the pressure of the elbows. The elbows are never ending. But yeah, what a what a fun breed, man. Um, morning cuddles are pretty typical, but they are loud. If you come around my house, if you deliver me mail or an Amazon package, these guys are gonna howl and run from the front of the house to the back of the house. They're gonna they're really good protectors. Probably one of the better dog breeds, you know, literally out there, like super gentle with little kids. Very cuddly and affectionate. I mean, it's really cool. Like, she's a 100-pound dog, and she just wants to lay on your body. So they're, they're, they have a very, like, large presence, you know, in your house. It's pretty neat. Um, she slobbers a lot. You can see all her jowls. There's evidence of it all over the house. We call them slingers. We clean them up, but I just happen to know of that one right there. Um, health wise, they both definitely have like their own little health issues. We've been to the vet a fair amount of times, nothing really crazy, mostly just allergies for both of them. She just had a, um, like a staph infection. So that was 600 bucks. Did you give her her medicine? We give you a face lift. No face lift. Yeah, she's a good girl. Um, I would say the downfall of the black and tan coon hounds, um, would be their recall. Um, Ruger actually has a much better recall than Nova does. Oh, you're tired, Moog. You're tired, Ruger. Yeah, she, this girl just does her own fucking thing. She's her own boss. Um, 
wipe the drool off my hand. Wipe the drool off my hand. And she loves to be groomed. She loves to be groomed. She'll let your groomer get her eye tear. Okay, <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, the recall, man, it sucks. You, I go camping a lot, and it's it's a hard deal because I can't let them out of my jeep. And lots of people like to be like, oh, we're stopped. And I have to make sure everyone is well aware. Like, you can't let my dogs out, man. They'll just, they'll catch a scent and they'll be gone. And even though they're super domesticated and they're not working breed, they're, they're, not, they're not working dogs. It's in their breed to just run and find things and chase them. So we don't have any problem with squirrels in our backyard. These guys will take care of it. Um... But yeah, so I'd say that's, you know, moments like that are, is when I'm like, oh, I should have got a lab, you know, shouldn't have got a bloodhound or a coon hound. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of hard, you know, as far as that goes, but man, it's like protection. Absolutely. No one can come near this house. And this girl is, has a tough bark. I touched one time I came home and I, I put my key. So she barked at me super, super tough girl, like super, super tough. You'd think there was the most aggressive Rottweiler just sitting on the other side of that door. And when my keys entered the keyhole, she actually fucking jumped on the door and pushed the door back super aggressive. And so I finished unlocking it. Like it was just me touching the door and she jumped on the door and um, I started talking to her and she went from that really deep aggressive bark to squeak, 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 all excited for mommy. So yeah, man, these are, it's a great protector dog, super cuddly. It's not just me, it's everybody. So she's not just like a one, um, one owner type dog. She's definitely a pack animal. She shows love to everybody. Super gentle with little kids. So families, um, you know, the dog, I've, I've seen her cuddled up on the kitchen floor with a two-year-old cuddled inside of her like little spoon style so it's like these dogs are great as far as that goes um the recall that's the thing yeah and they're fun she doesn't fetch she doesn't fetch she's not into toys or squeakies that's her own personality though that's not a typical thing um she has a genetic disorder where she had a false pregnancy and um she grew boobs she thought she was pregnant she had all the hormones her body told her everything everything that she was pregnant she wasn't and that's just a genetic disorder um that she goes through um not a very rare disorder though um she never had puppies so she doesn't like the squeaky toys being squeaked so she's not a big toy person she's a chewer um she chews bones she doesn't chew things in the house um ruger loves his toys loves <laughs> he's seeping loves his toys loves um, playing tug of war is his favorite. He likes chasing after stuff. Um, he won't, his return, he won't really return the ball to you. I would say if anyone had recall, it would be this guy just cause he's so motivated to be around humans, um, and to please you. So he's, but he's not a very good protector like Nova. Uh, the combo is probably pretty good. What's amazing is how bonded they are. They are unbelievably bonded. Um, they they love each other. I can't take Nova for a walk without Rug having a mental fucking breakdown that his sister is gone. And they've only been together for a year. The, we adopted both of them. So I got Nova on her first birthday. And we got Ruger just, just after his second... Or just before his second birthday. So we've had Ruger one year. But yeah, there's a little update on the hound dogs. And we love them. Do you want to say bye? Bye, guys. Thanks for listening to my mommy. <laughs>